Hi right, guys, so this is the other guy again. So this is uh, the third time that I'm going to come inside my car and work on it uh, because for the third time in its life being with me, um, the engine light came on, um, a lot of stuff came on, I'll show you <clears throat> on the dashboard. Um, like I said, I'm the original owner and I bought it new. Right now it has 140,000 miles on it. It's a 2006 model. And I'll show you here. It's been an overall a very reliable car. Hasn't been giving me any issues. But as it ages, you know, it, uh, like everything else, things start to break down. So you can see here that the vehicle skid control is on, track off is on, engine light is on, maintenance required on. Uh, the blue light right there, it's just telling me that the engine is cold. That's because I haven't started yet. For the whole day here, it's it, the engine is cold, that's why. So, um, I'm doing this video to hopefully help folks who has the same problem like mine. It's really an easy fix, and uh, here, let me show you what's going on. So, to, to really find out what is wrong with that, um, this little thing here, you have to have your little OBD2 reader, okay? Mine's a Actron reader, and I bought mine from AutoZone many years ago. So it's, it's a good uh, thing to invest in little gadgets like this so that you can communicate with your computer. Um, the car's computer that is. So you need to have a little gadget like this and it comes with a little plug so it can interface with the computer. So let's turn this engine off. Okay. And just leave it on like that. Okay. Like that. Okay. So then you'll have to find the OBD2 port. And I'll show you where mine is. Uh, it's, it's in here. I don't know if you can see that. But it is... Where art thou? There. Okay. It's right there. Okay. So let me... I'm doing this one-handed. So let me put this on pause. And I'll show you how it's connected. Okay. So... That's how it's connected, okay? So, what you need to do now is, now, well, when you connect that little port thing, it automatically turns the code reader here on. So, what you wanna do is, you wanna go to vehicle diagnostic, and uh, do you want to erase data stored in the tool from, from a previous vehicle test? Yes. And I want to read codes, okay? So it's reading codes, and it says P0122, which is defined as throttle pedal position sensor A circuit low input. So basically, it's telling me that something is short uh, up uh, in the uh, um, yeah, in the front. Okay, so we're going to go up there and find out what's going on. Okay, and I'm thinking that it's by the uh, throttle precision sensor. That's what it says here. And um, there's something wrong there. So let's go up and take a look. So <laughs> this is the throttle position sensor right here. Okay. Uh, if you look at here it's right there and they're saying that it's short so oh, okay I see that okay see that part right there I have a short right there it's not short but it, the um, the wire <laughs> look at that see that the wire is not shorted however it the wire is um, how do you the, the wire is um, cut off, okay? Somehow it became disconnected from the connector, okay, like that. So what I need to do is I need to solder that back on 
and or buy a new um, plug so let's get this let, let's get all of this out okay so we're gonna remove all of this out of the way and then we're gonna get gain access to that little plug right there so that we can work with it okay so we're gonna put this on hold okay so this is what I've done I've moved removed the intake uh, plenum here not not the plenum but the intake tube here Okay, remove this. So basically, you remove this out of the way. So then, now you're gonna have to remove this. This is the uh, filter cover. Okay, move out your filter. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna gain access, remove this out of the way so that I can have access to that little throttle position sensor, which is right here. Okay, so that's what I have to do. Okay, so now that I've removed uh, that from here, okay, I now have full access to this plug right here. So now I'm gonna have to take this out like that and figure out why it came, what made it so that it'll it was uh, falling apart. So. But I guess I could fix this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, weld, or not weld, but solder this back on. Okay, I don't know if you can see that. I'll fix this so that I can solder it back on. Once it's done, then I'm going to use this special liquid tape and tape it together and it'll work again. Okay, so once I finish soldering this, I'll show you how it looks like. Um, how it looks like after I uh, fix that all right so um, be right back okay guys so this is what I did I welded it I'm not welded <laughs> I soldered it and that's how this piece looks like so now that's done this is what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this electric liquid tape here and I'm gonna brush it over this so that it'll become um, bonded to the surface here. And if there's any vi future vibration, hopefully, it will stop that as well. So um, the job here is almost done. Okay, so I brushed it in and that's how it looks like right now, okay. Uh, and once those, that little uh, compound here, once this little compound dries up, it becomes it becomes uh, very, uh, you know, it becomes like a solid piece of rubber, and uh, it'll hold onto it. This is how it looks like. You just brush this over that little electrical con connection, electrical connection, and it becomes bonded with it, protects it from. Um, getting shorted and stuff like that so okay so that's that let me show you how I did it basically all you do is paint this over like that okay not paint but brush it over like that and uh, when it sticks when it dries up it becomes it just it becomes part of it okay and it's actually really, really good for insulation. And that's that. So, it requires a couple hours to dry. Once it's dried, it should be good to go. As of right now, it should be good to go as well. So let me, re let me reassemble all of this. Um, this is good. And then I'll start the engine again. Okay, so it's done. As you can see here, that looks like that. And when it's dried, it should be one solid piece. So let's go and start the engine anyway. And okay, so let's do this. Keys in. Engine. Start it. 
So you notice that there's something that's, uh, well, it's still the same. Let's see. Okay. Start again. Okay. So let's, it's saying that it's still the same. So let's uh, do this. Let's erase the code. Let's see what happens. Oh, okay. So let's erase the code. Okay, so the code is erased. Okay, so let's go back. Okay. All right, so let's start the engine. And the engine check light is off and all those lights off. And it says here that maintenance required that's because it's time to change the oil. So that's how you fix it, guys. That's how you fix that code that uh, uh, was uh, letting us know that something's wrong with the throttle position sensor. So I hope that you uh, enjoy the video. Uh, please like um, if you find that uh, this is helpful to you so that I can, you know, encourage me to make more videos. Um, Okay, well thank you for watching guys.